guys, this is Ruroni K95 here. Once again, here's my episode review that I'm going to be doing for today from Hell of a Boss. This time, this is going to be on the episode Western Energy. So let's begin. Starting with the plot in um, Hell of a Boss episode Western Energy, because this episode is from Season 2 of Hell of a Boss. So let's begin. We get to a cafe where Stolas with Stella and Bother and her brother named Andrielfus speaking out about their divorce. This has led to where Stolas and Stella insulting each other as always. When Andrielfus states Stella that she needed more composition to that Stolas had cheated on her, so at the same time, Stolas has to defend himself just because Stella never cared about him during their arranged marriage. Hmm, that's pretty much how that happened. But at this time, Stryker barges in, causes Stolas to flee, but not before be getting captured. He had called Blitzo on his way to the Sloth Ring just to get Luna's Hellbees shot. When Stolas tells him about the, his current ordeal, as he was been tied up with blessed rope, he couldn't do anything when Stryker just hangs up. So Moxie has volunteers for him and Millie to the rescue the prince when they have a score to settle with Stryker, to which a reluctant Blitzo agrees as what how this happened. When Blitzo and Luna arrive at the hospital is where he schedules her appointment, but the lady at the counter is still illiterate and calls Blitzo as spelled because the O is silent, that's why. Much to his annoyance, at the same time, Luna is terrified of getting her shot while getting the woman's child besides him, he calls him a fire toad when his mother says not to say it in public, which this provokes, Blitzo retaliates towards the mother. The woman then backmouths him to provoke each other, calling him a Rathian, assuming he was from Wrath. So Blitzo says he didn't want her saying things like that because Luna was here. Eventually, they're called to the doctor as Blitzo walks off with Luna blowing Raspberry at the mother. By this time, Stryker takes Stolas to his lair after the musical western number, where he is tied up to the train track, noticing the cliché nature of it. He also questions the statue of Stryker, which he made broke Stryker st art stabbing him with a blessed tip knife. Very brutal how this happened as well. When Stryker claims that the royal clan has always takes over everything and doesn't care who gets hurt or dies, Stola point, as points out Stryker's hypocritical claim, saying how Stryker himself is working for a royal and kicks him in the face as Stryker responds by stabbing Stola's leg and even how breaking it but also as Stolas manages to subdue the pain, saying Blitzo tortures him better in bed as this happens. Moxie and Millie arrive at the gas station where Millie asks about Stryker's whereabouts at the same time. Moxie tangles with a motorcycle gang because the leader points out that his hat, which Millie had give him, given him er, like earlier, was the same as much as this happens. It's his, how this goes. Like earlier. So Millie asks the mariachi band that, that sang Stryker's song if they saw him are about to sing, but she cuts them off asking it for a straight answer. So the fourth member tells her he resided in the abandoned mines in the volcano near the current destination. After she gets help, and here, after Moxie defeats the the motorcycle gang and constricts the leader with a gasoline connected to their van's tank. They head off, but not before the gang leader gets killed by a decapitation in the process. 
with Stella and Andrea Lofus, they they part finish how Stella had sent Stryker earlier. But when Andrea Lofus questions the situation as he points out that if he dies, Octavia will have his throne as she is the current heir. So Stella gets nothing out of it. As so, as well. So reluctantly, she agrees to tell Stryker to call off how it, to, to, as to kill off. However, Stryker decides that Stella didn't say what kind of condition Stolas has to be in. He cut out Stolas' eyes as a trophy at the moment. Moxie and Millie came to the rescue, as frequently cuts to Blitzo trying to get Luna to hold still so the doctor can give her a shot, despite Millie and Moxie having their own against Stryker. He eventually pins Millie with her own axe. The same time, he temporarily incapitates Moxie by crushing him under a flying piece of stalagmite. As Stryker gets on top of Moxie and strangling him, Moxie counters by pretending he is getting turned on, making the cowboy hat back off. Ultimately ends with Millie chopping the statue down of, the, of Stryker himself as he gets away. Moxie and Millie are terrified how Stolas is badly injured, noting that they take him to a hospital, ignored their battered state. Yeah, because that could be very painful for Stolas in that one as well. As they bring Stolas injured to the hospital, Blitzo and Luna walk out with the latter wearing a doggy cone on her neck. A crowd of people trample over him as they get Stolas inside after what happened. Blitzo was shocked. Stolas would got hurt. It was not in a good way. That's how this happened. In his hospital room, Stolas gets a message from Blitzo to get well soon, as if he gets no response. When he texts back that he will be bet in the hospital for a while, and he can visit any time. And that's how you end this episode ends with Stolas setting his phone on the counter and falling asleep, where all the PETA is from one of the the hell roses have been falling off. So that's pretty much of how this happened in the episode of Western Energy in season two of Hell of a Boss. I mean, the story is very basic. I mean, I don't get how, why Luna never spoke, and then they just made her sound like a, a dog or a wolf or anything. Well, just because, well, just because she's a hellhound, because she's a demon dog as well, because, you know, ever learn history about hellhounds? Yeah, because, particularly, because this, it's just basically how she gets terrified of Helby's shot every time when Blitzo has taken her to the hospital to get her shots as well, when he schedules her appointment as well. I mean, I just don't get, she never spoke in the episode. Why would they do that? Hmm. Just because Luna is voiced by Erica Lindbeck, which you may recognize her vo as the voice as Cassie Cage in the video game Mortal Kombat 11. If you, any of you Mortal Kombat fans could take note on that as well, accordingly as well. Because this just got to my biggest curiosity case of how this goes as well, particularly. Just to give you a word on this as well, accordingly, if you all want to know for this, of how I wanted to come by for an episode like Western Energy from the second season of Hell of a Boss as well. Oh yeah, because this particularly of how, particularly when, like, like when the Doctor was about to prepare, the part that, gets her all setting her off all angry when when she's about to get her shot she goes all angry and, and you know and she's going all like rawr, rawr, like that because you know she's basically like a because she's a hellhound as well because she doesn't like getting shots because she's just terrified of them at, of getting shots as well like oh my god I mean because I that scene when she makes her but she's like 
about to bare her fangs in that one. And her eyes are glowing all red and all that, because I thought that scene almost scared the hell out of me as well, because, yeah, it can be very frightening and intimidating as well of how you want to get to the curiosity as well. Mind you as well, uh, for my thoughts on this episode as well, because this has got to my case as well, if you all don't know about this, because you don't know about what has, has happened as well. Because... I just wanted to come across for how for my thoughts are on this goes as well. As you could expect, they wanted to save a, a little budget when they made her not speak in that one. That is the most disappointment for this as well, to me as well, because I was expecting her to speak in that one. Like, well, like, we can, mind you, this episode has considered to get to the case. I guess in the same way how Yurisei Yatsura, only you, has considered Rumiko Takahashi's favorite as well. I guess in this, as well as in the same way how Kirk Hammett is considered to be a legendary guitarist of Metallica. But anyway, so for the whole thing about, for an episode like Western Energy from uh, hell of a boss is that this has got to the thing as well because I just wanted to come across for this as well. It gets almost better as I expected, so this explains why for how you wanted to come by for how I just don't get why they make a certain character never spoke. Say for example, Luna from Hell of a Boss, because just because she's voiced by Erica Lindbeck, who's known for the voice as Cassie Cage in Mortal Kombat 11, I just don't get why they make her sound like, 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 when she gets frightened by getting Helby's shot, because this just gets to my curiosity. I was expecting her to speak. And I just, I mean, to me on this episode, I don't get it. Well, it, well, this episode maybe no, almost has its moments, but I just don't, but not as much as the episode Scene Stars, like, which we'll get to in the episode uh, I'll mention in just a moment. So, for the thing about um the... Because, just because they save a little budget as well, because... That's the most disappointment I had on this episode as well. And now, of course, I was a little curious, and that's how the curiosity goes as well, because I just wanted to gather it up across as well. I guess in the same way, particularly... Well, true thing is, particularly... There will be more future episodes of Hell of a Boss if Luna's in new episodes of Hell of a Boss, but I'm pretty sure as if Hell of a Boss could have been a longest-running web series, though, because I just garnered up for this accordingly. But then again, well, you know, you had Detroit Metal City and Metalocalypse, all these uh, other shows, but this is more different than that, because it's not particularly how you're stuffing it in, in people's faces how hell of a boss has. You know, the pentagram at the beginning of the episode where it says, Viewer, the warning, the following cartoon contains graphic violence and s such as what well, adult situations and stuff and such. As you see the, you know, the pentagram because it's adult cartoon, it's the devil. That's why. Because I just guarded up for how I got my curiosity goes as well, of how I wanted to guard it up for this. Well, for my score, well, the episode's okay. The characters, well, we all know what we mentioned in that one. The music, well, we got a Western musical number in that one, and, like, especially for how this goes. Well, this episode, in my opinion, not as good as 
um, uh, seeing star. Well, all well, it's okay, but I like the episode Seeing Stars more, in my opinion, because at least that episode Seeing Stars from season two of Hell of a Boss has moments, in my opinion, though, because well, that's it's just my personal opinion. It's just and that's just me because. You, you know what I mean particularly as well, because at least Luna in the, the episode of Seeing Stars from Hell of a Boss spoke in that one, but in Western Energy episode, they never she never spoke. I don't get it. Well, maybe, well, it's just because they try to save a little budget in that one, but let's just pray that there's more future episodes if she could speak in that episode, because that's my theory, though, as considered if Hell of a Boss would have been a longest-running web series, though, as well. I guess in the considering as more different than Yurisei Yatsura, Only You, who is more different among other among other animation in general. But when it comes to adult animation as well, there's a lot of things to know when it comes to just talking about Hell of a Boss episode, Western Energy, and the biggest thing this has got to my curiosity. My score for this episode, uh, 9 out of 10. So that's going to be it for my episode review. Thank you for watching. Be sure to subscribe to my channel, especially if you're new to my channel, especially if you're watching the channel. Smack the like button if you enjoyed the video. Hit the notifications bell button. Be sure to get notified also as well for more latest updates if you missed anything. Let me know your thoughts in the comments in the comment section below. What do you think of it? Just let me know. Be sure to check out my anime planner analyst because I've been literally getting a letterboxed and t-shirtslayer.com as well. If you haven't seen my review on the episode Seeing Stars from Hell of a Boss, the link will be in the description down below if you haven't missed my ep previous episode review on Seeing Stars from the second season of Hell of a Boss as well. Talk to for now for this episode review because this is Ruroni K95 saying thank you for watching my video and I'm glad you liked it. Hope you enjoy it. Hope to see you soon for the next video. Be sure to stay safe and stay healthy and have a great day. This is Ruroni K95 signing off. Thank you for watching my video and I will see you soon for more videos I got on plan for what's in store. Take care. Stay tuned for more surprises. Bye.